Oh yeah, wow, yo, that is so good. This is better than the Pillsbury ones. Look at that. All right, taste test. Oh wow, that tastes like brownie batter. If it's just one of those days where you need a little pick-me-up, this edible cookie dough, I'm certain will do the trick. Hello my little ray of sunshines. Happy Saturday, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nicole, I hope you had a great week. Now I know not everybody subscribed to this channel is in school right now, but a lot of you are in high school or college and I've actually had a bunch of you emailing me lately saying that you are pretty stressed about the back to school season, whether it's your first year in high school, your first year of college, or you've just graduated high school and you're trying to figure out what to do with your life. This can be a pretty stressful time. And so if you have just gone back to school and you're kind of feeling heavy from all of the pressure, all of the homework assignments, all of the papers due, if it's it's already just too much, this video is for you. I'm hoping today on this vlog, you and I can connect and we can just take a deep breath and relax and do something fun together. And so I thought we would make a fun little after school snack. Today, I'm gonna be showing you four of my best. They are my favorite edible cookie dough recipes. You all love them on the other platforms that I've posted them on. For some of you, it's how you found me. And so today we're putting an official tutorial on this YouTube channel on how to make a chocolate chip cookie dough, a sugar cookie dough, peanut butter oatmeal cookie dough, in triple chocolate chunk cookie dough. Each of them are so yummy in there. Surprisingly really easy to make. And so save this video and come back to it. When life feels overwhelming, you can whip up a fun snack and remind yourself that everything is gonna be okay. If that sounds good. Give this video a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss any of my new videos. I post new recipes on here all the time. And if it's your first time on my channel, welcome. I'm so glad that you're here and I can't wait to get to know you more. Okay, so I've got some of my ingredients set up at my station. Look at me all prepared. The first thing we need to do though before we start anything is heat treat our flour. Now, when I posted my first edible cookie dough recipes, everybody kind of freaked out when I said you need to do this. Here's the thing. It's actually not raw egg that they recommend you don't eat cookie dough. It's actually the flour. People eat raw eggs all the time. Uncooked flour could contain bacteria that could be harmful to your system. And so what I recommend is heat treating your flour. You can do it one of two ways. You can spread all your flour out on a baking sheet and bake it at 350 degrees for about five to 10 minutes, or you can put it in the microwave. The thing with the microwave, and I I must warn you before we do anything, do not let it burn. I've had a lot of comments from people saying, I put my flour in the microwave, it burned the house down. And I listen, nobody needs to be burning houses down on this tutorial. And so be very careful, make sure you know your microwave settings. It's better to be safe than to be sorry. And so do it for less time. I'm gonna put my flour in the microwave for about five to 10 seconds and see how it is. Really, we're just trying to heat it up enough to get that bacteria gone. That way we can eat the edible cookie dough safely. We are gonna start with the chocolate chip edible cookie dough. It calls for one and a third cup flour. Put this in my microwave here and I'm just going to go for 10 seconds. Okay, we'll check on it. It's looking good. Let's do 10 more. All right, so I did it for a total of about 30 seconds. Our flour is heat treated and ready to go. Okay, now easiest thing ever, we're just gonna combine all the ingredients. I put these recipes down in the description box below to make it easy for you to come back and make these later. We're gonna start by creaming together our butter and sugar. So you're just gonna get half a cup of softened butter, and then we have some brown sugar and white sugar. For this, I'm gonna use a hand mixer, but if you also have a stand mixer, you can use that as well. <laughs> You wanna mix that until the butter and the sugars are nice and fluffy and creamy. And then we are going to add three tablespoons of milk, a splash of vanilla, and a little pinch of salt. All right, once your dough has formed, the last step we have is to mix in our chocolate chips. I did a combination of dark chocolate chips, mini chocolate chips, and then these chocolate chunks just to give it some more texture. And these you can just mix in with the spatula. My fiance Chandler always makes fun of me because I always buy cookie dough at the grocery store and then I never bake it. I don't know about you, but I think the cookie dough is so much better than actual cookies. Don't get me wrong, I love a fresh baked cookie, but sometimes I just wanna go for the dough, you know? Comment down below if you like the cookie dough more than you like the baked cookie. Wow, look at that. Last step is to get it in a jar or a container and this stuff will last up to one to two weeks. That's the beauty of this. You can make a big batch and then have it for the week. Perfect. Okay, next we're gonna make a sugar cookie dough. My goal is to make this taste like the Pillsbury sugar cookie doughs, you know, like the printed cookies that literally nobody bakes. I think Chandler might be the only one in the world that bakes them. I will say they are pretty good baked, but I think they're even better. Like I love just popping one out of the fridge and eating them. And so that is what we're trying to achieve right now. I feel like this next question I'm about to ask could be pretty controversial. This is white sugar. Do you like soft and chewy sugar cookies or hard sugar cookies? 
ones. Or do you like the fluffy ones? Because some sugar cookies are like really thick and poofy. This is our heat treated flour. But then some are like really flat, but they're chewy, if you know what I mean. Comment down below which sugar cookie you are. This recipe is so easy. We're just gonna do a little pinch of salt and a splash of vanilla. So essentially this is the same as the chocolate chip cookie dough recipe, except we have no brown sugar and no chocolate chips. And for this one, I'm gonna use my stand mixer just so that you can see it made in a different way. You know what? I just messed this up. <laughs> It is truly not a Nicole the Nomad recipe tutorial video without me making some kind of a mistake. Usually I have forgotten an ingredient. This time I forgot to cream my sugar with my butter. Okay, don't be like me. I just added all of the ingredients in at once because I was so busy talking to you and asking you questions about what kind of sugar cookie you are. But the first thing you wanna do is mix together your butter and your sugar first so it's light and creamy. And then you're gonna add your flour, salt, and vanilla. It shouldn't really make that big of a difference, but for best results, do that when you do it. Okay, here we go, back on track. While you're mixing it, it might look really crumbly. That's okay, just keep mixing it. If you need to, add a little bit of milk with one tablespoon at a time. If you keep mixing it, eventually it will all come together and form a dough. I'm gonna do just about a tablespoon of milk here. All right, perfect. That tablespoon of milk really made all the difference. See how it came together as a dough? All right, let's see. Oh yeah, wow, yo, that is so good. I'm glad I didn't mess it up by not creaming together the butter and the sugar first. This is better than the Pillsbury ones. If you wanna add sprinkles in, you can totally do like a little rainbow sprinkle moment or you can leave it plain. It's totally up to you. There she is. All right, next we're gonna do a peanut butter oatmeal cookie dough. This is kind of like monster chip cookie dough, except we're not gonna do the M&Ms, but you could totally add M&Ms if you want. In fact, that might be really good. Actually, the more I'm thinking about that, the more I wanna do it. Another thing you could do is add chocolate chips. Maybe I'll do chocolate chunks instead. Okay, this time we're not going to skip this step. We are gonna cream together the butters and the sugar. I did one stick or half a cup of butter and then some brown sugar and white sugar. And I'm using my stand mixer again for this one just because it seems to be a little quicker. Amazing, once that is creamed, we're gonna do half a cup of peanut butter. Blend that in. Now we're gonna add our heat treated flour, one cup of rolled oats, a splash of vanilla, a pinch of salt, and start with a little bit of milk. You can always add more as you go if you need it for consistency. And then you'll wanna kinda of look, depending on the consistency of your dough, if it's too thin, you could add more flour or oats, but honestly looks pretty good. So I think we're set. Oh wow, that tastes amazing. But I do think that I wanna add some chocolate chips. Wow, this smells incredible. Look at that. So yummy, so beautiful. Finally, we are going to finish off our edible cookie dough with triple chocolate chip. This one is so, so chocolatey. So if you love chocolate, this one is for you. We're gonna start off again by creaming together our butter and sugars. Again, we're using one stick or half a cup of butter. Now we have equal parts of brown sugar and white sugar. And we'll blend. Add our heat treated flour and cocoa powder. A pinch of salt splash of vanilla, and then a tiny splash of milk. And mix again. Amazing, and just like the rest, we are going to mix in our chocolate chips by hand. I have a little triple blend of chocolate chips right here. I've got mini chocolate chips, dark chocolate chunks, and then some white chocolate chips. Just to give us some variety, and the white adds a little bit of color. We're gonna mix these in with our spatula. Y'all see how easy these are? They take like five to 10 minutes max. You probably already have a lot of these ingredients in your pantry. And so seriously, if it's just one of those days where you need a little pick-me-up, this edible cookie dough, I'm certain we'll do the trick. All right, taste test. Oh wow, that tastes like brownie batter. Oh my gosh, wow. Ah! Okay, here they all are, our beautiful little edible cookie doughs. They all came out so good. Try them out, let me know which one is your favorite. Comment down below what other recipe videos you wanna see this fall. We are about to start our fall series and I am so excited to share the new recipes with you. And so make sure that you don't miss them by hitting that subscribe button and joining the family. If this video made you smile and you liked it, please give it a thumbs up before you leave. I'm so thankful for you and I hope you have a great rest of your weekend. We'll see you next time, bye.